Hi there, it's Roisin O'Connor here with you again today. Um, I hope you're doing really well and that your week has been going really well for you. And on today's video, I want to share my recent lesson plan for the 30 day mental cleanse um, mastermind group, which I'm part of with mentoring for free. Um, so I'm gonna read my lesson to you I hope you enjoy it. If you want to follow along with me as I read it um, and just sit back and enjoy it um, and enjoy it. Okay, so the this lesson is on faith by, um, we're commenting on Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich, and this is the chapter on faith. Okay, faith is the visualization of and belief in attainment of desire. Faith explained, a dancer, an orchid, and a plane crash. To quote Napoleon Hill, riches begin in the form of thought. The amount is limited only by the person in whose mind the thought is put into motion. Faith removes limitations. Unquote. I'd like to help you understand faith through telling you three short stories. Look for the common thread and how we can apply it in our lives, in our personal desires for family, our loved ones, our health, our financial goals, our spiritual well-being, and our business growth and development, and where mentoring for free lies in it also. Story number one, a dancer. Saturday night after my training calls and a delicious homemade pizza, Christian and I sat down to watch Billy Elliot. It tells the story of an English boy from a poverty-stricken background who lives only to dance. It's a heartwarming tale of overcoming limiting beliefs, ignorance and poverty. The boy's fortune began to change when he met a lady who saw his potential and gave her time, without payment, to bring him to the realisation of his sleeping genius. She taught him to dance well enough so that he could present himself for an audition at the London School of Dance the Royal London School of Dance. I cried so many times during the movie. I cried for the boy's father, especially, who was doing his best for his family, but forever bogged down in poverty. The actors were amazing, playing roles which brought you hand in hand along with them in a real way. I was struck by the following scene. The boy, Billy Elliot, Having saved enough money through community effort to travel to the famous audition in London, at a school usually reserved for the wealthiest of the nation, and certainly not for a poor miner's son. At the audition he was asked how he felt when he danced. He answered, Sort of feels good. It's sort of stiff and that, but once I get going, then I like forget everything and sort of disappear. I sort of disappear, like I feel a change in me whole body, like there's a fire in my body. I'm just there, flying, like a bird, like electricity, yeah, like electricity. Story number two, the orchid. Around a year ago, Christian's mom, Piera, and I both received an orchid plant as a gift. Hers has flowered many times each time with more beauty than the last, and as it sits in its proud place just inside the window, basking in the sun for many months of the year. My plant, however, for many months never has direct sunlight, because our house isn't exposed to direct sunlight, and when it is, it's only for a short time. So, for, my months, for months, my plant looked poorly. I lovingly moved it to take best advantage of the sunlight, speaking to it and knowing it'd eventually flower. Many people had commented that maybe my plant wouldn't flower. But since the heat has come, I've been able to leave it outside on the table in the veranda, where it gets heat and sun. And in the past few days alone, I've noticed it completely take off. It's growing with great rhythm, with new sprouts leaping from it, new buds appearing, and soon to be flowers. It stayed quietly for months, and now in a few short days it has grown enormously and sprouted, promising to produce beauty. It's my pride and joy, reminding of my life in Asia in my late twenties, 
where whole jungles were covered in wild orchids growing from tree trunks. Story number three, the plane crash. This is a story I heard from, my, from a mentor who I love to listen to, Anna Bassett. She has a storytelling voice which captivates. Anna told it on the Saturday skills call on using the five pillars of May 19th. She told of a tragic plane crash 1,000 miles from civilization. Only one victim of the plane crash survived. When interviewed, he was asked how he had survived when all the other passengers perished. He answered that it was probably because they thought they would have to walk 1,000 miles to reach help, but he thought he'd have to walk one mile a thousand times. I could go on now to tie these stories to faith and show you what I find important, but I won't, because I don't want to steal your journey. There are moments when I struggle, when I'm tired, stiff and in pain, but I see always that the choice to think is mine. The choice to change my environment and make it work for me is mine. And at times I'm slow to grow, but at others I'm like a bird. I'm like electricity. I'm like there's a fire in my body. It's only through desire and faith, my faith, that I can fly higher, conduct this electricity and share this torch. With loving faith, Roisin O'Connor. So that's my lesson plan. That's the lesson plan I um, sent to the Mental Cleanse Forum this week. And we, we shared it on the call yesterday, um, Wednesday. We have our Mental Cleanse Mastermind call, which you're more than welcome to join next week. It's a free call, as is all our training at Mentoring for Free. So feel free to ask, you know, get in contact with me. There is a there will be a link at the bottom of this video and you can click through to that or indeed contact me um directly um or here on Facebook or on YouTube and feel free to comment. I love your comments because when I get your comments I know how I can improve. Um and share it with somebody who might need a little bit of faith in their life right now. So, thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.